Sai morning, grade 10 students. Welcome to Valenzuela Live. I'm your teacher for today. I'm Mam Nelly D. Alvarez of Malintan National High School. Our topic for today is about the types of chemical reactions. For today's lesson, our specific objective is to identify the types of chemical reaction. Last time, you have learned about chemical reactions, the law of conservation of mass, and how to balance a chemical equation. What did you see? Correct. Burning took place. What do you think? Is a chemical reaction takes place in burning? We will learn more of that on our discussion today. There are different types of chemical reactions. Let us discuss them one by one. First, let us have combination or synthesis. The word synthesis means put things together to make as a whole. In synthesis reactions, there are two or more chemical bonds together forming one new substance. The general equation is A reacts with B yield AB. Example, when potassium reacts with chlorine, they yield or produce potassium chloride. Notice that the equation is not balanced. So, to apply what you have learned in the previous lesson, we have to add coefficient to make the equation balance. To see if the chemical reaction is balanced, here is the inventory of atom in each element. In the reactant side, potassium is equal to 1 and chlorine is 2. While on the product side, potassium is 1 but chlorine is 1. So using the trial and error, you can balance the equation by adding the coefficient 2 to the product potassium chloride. But notice that in the reactant side, potassium is still 1. So we have to add another coefficient 2 to the potassium to make it balance. Then, to see if the chemical reaction is balanced, here is the inventory in each atom of each element. So, potassium in the reactant side is 2, and uh, potassium on the product side is 2, while chlorine on the reactant side is 2, and chlorine in the product side is 2. So, the equation is balance. Second is decomposition. The word decomposition means to separate or to break down into smaller pieces. In decomposition reaction, one substance breaks down into two or more products. It is really a synthesis reaction in reverse. General equation is AB breaks down to A plus B. An example. Mercury 2 oxide breaks down into mercury and oxygen. Notice that the equation is not balanced. So we have to balance the equations by adding the coefficient 2 to the reactant side, mercury 2 oxide, and another coefficient of 2 in mercury. So to see if the chemical reaction is balanced, here is the inventory of atom in each element. So mercury in the reactant side is 2, while mercury in the product side is 2. Oxygen in the reactant side is 2, and oxygen in the product side is 2. So they are balanced. The third type is single displacement reaction or single replacement reaction. In a single replacement reaction, one element replaces another element in a compound. The general equation is A is added to BC, produces or produce AC and B. For example, 
Magnesium added to hydrogen chloride will produce magnesium dichloride and hydrogen. Notice that one element replaces another element in this compound. And the thing that we do is to find out if the equation is balanced. And notice that they are not balanced. So we have to do the trial and error method. With a given equation, magnesium is already balanced, but hydrogen and chlorine are not. So we have to think of the coefficient that can make these two elements balance. What do you think? The answer is yes. By adding the coefficient 2 to hydrogen chloride, the equation will now be balanced. To see if the chemical reaction is balanced, here is the inventory of an atom in each element. Okay, so magnesium in the reactant side is 1. And magnesium in the product side is also 1. Hydrogen in the reactant side is 2. And hydrogen in the product side is 2. Chlorine in the reactant side is 2. And chlorine in the product side is 2. So it is balanced. The fourth type of reaction is a double displacement reaction or double replacement reaction. A type of a chemical reaction which occurs when the positive ions, which is cations, and the negative ion, which is anions of different compounds, switch places, forming two entirely different compounds. These reactions can be viewed as an exchange of partners. This type of chemical reaction is also called metathesis. So the general equation or formula for this is AB reacts with CD yields AD plus CB. For example, sodium chloride reacts with silver chloride yields sodium chloride and silver chloride. During the reaction, chloride and chloride ions change places. So the new compounds are formed in the product sodium chloride and silver chloride the equation is balanced the fifth type of reaction is combustion reaction so combustion reaction means a hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen gas this is also called burning in order to burn something you need three things in a part triangle like fuel or hydrocarbon, the oxygen, and something that sparks or ignites the reactions. In general, the equation will be CXHY plus O2 yield or produce carbon dioxide and water. Always remember, Products are always a carbon dioxide and water. Although incomplete burning does caused by some product like carbon monoxide. Combustion is used to heat homes and run automobiles. Like octane as in gasoline is C8H18. Octane is a component of gasoline, petrol. An example. Pentane reacts with oxygen, produce carbon dioxide and water. Let us balance the equation by just examining each element. Carbon is 5, hydrogen is 12, oxygen is 2 in the reactant side. While carbon in the product side is 1, hydrogen is 3, and oxygen is Two. So let us apply the trial and error method. So by adding the coefficient 8 to oxygen in the reactant side, coefficient of 5 in the carbon dioxide, and 6 in water. Let us check if the chemical reaction is balanced. 
Here is the inventory of atoms in each element. So, carbon in the reactant side is 5, and in the product side, we have 5. While hydrogen in the reactant side is 12, and hydrogen in the product side is 6, we multiplied it by 2, we have 12. Oxygen on the reactant side is 8, we multiply it by 2, so we have 16. So, oxygen on the product side is 5, we multiply it by 2, which is 10, plus 6, we have 16. So, it is balanced. And to sum up the important points in the lesson, there are five types of a chemical reactions. Synthesis or combination, decomposition, single replacement or displacement, double replacement or double displacement, and combustion. Now, it's time for our activity. You have 60 seconds to answer. Just classify what type of chemical reactions are the following equation. You may type your answer on the comment box below for your answer. Timer, start now. Time is up. Now let us check your work. So number one, that is double replacement. Number two, we have decomposition. Number three, we have synthesis. And number four, we have combustion. And last, number five, we have single replacement. Good job, learners. At this point, we're going to proceed with the question and answer parts. You may write your question in the comment box below and your, our teacher moderator will pick three questions. Timer starts now. Okay, time is up, sir. Can I have the first question? The first question is from Malinta National High School. All right, so what is the importance of a chemical reaction? Okay, thank you for that question. A chemical reactions are the reason we exist on Earth. In addition, chemical reactions are how new forms of matter are made while nuclear, nuclear actions also produces new matter. Nearly all substances you encounter in daily life are the result of the chemical change. In a chemical reaction, help us to understand the properties of matter. By studying the way a sample interact with each matter, we can learn its chemical properties. These properties can be used to identify the unknown specimen or to predict how the different types of matter might react with each other. By observing a chemical reactions, we are able to understand and explain how this natural world works. A chemical reaction turns food into fuel for our body, makes fireworks explode, causes food to change when it is cooked, makes soap remove green, 
and other much more. Exciting, entertaining chemical reaction peak interest in science. This type of demonstration encourage people to ask questions and may lead them into science-related careers. Chemical reactions help us to solve chemical crimes or crimes and explain mysteries by analyzing the blood and tissue samples. For example, a police are able to identify perpetrator of crimes. A chemical reaction is also a tool we use to date fossils, analyze ancient materials, and a better understand how our ancestors live. By observing chemical reaction in outer space, we're able to identify and describe other planets. We can determine which planets and moons are likely to be able to sustain life. Far the most important discovery made by human beings is simply a chemical reaction. Without a chemical reaction, nothing would ever change. Atoms stays atoms. New molecules wouldn't form. No organism could live. If matter didn't react with other matter, the universe would be extremely boring. Sir, the next question is from Valenzuela National High School. Is a chemical reaction is the same as chemical change? Why or why not? Thank you for the questions. Yes, a physical change such as a state change or dissolving does not create new substance, but a chemical change does. In a chemical reaction, reactants contact each other, bond between atoms in the reactants are broken, and atoms rearrange and form a new bonds to make the product. And the last question, sir, from Gentry National High School. How is energy transferred in a chemical reaction? Thank you for the question. When a chemical reaction occurs, energy is transferred to or from the surrounding. For example, when a bonfire burns, it transfers heat energy to the surrounding. Like the object near the bonfire become warm. Sorry for those questions which are not addressed today. Your teacher in science will help you answer your queries during your follow-up discussions. I would like to share this quote to you by Tony Randalls. Love isn't an opinion. It's a chemical reaction. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye.